Return on Investment How to Compute Simple Absolute Return Return is the comparison of the inflow and outflow and therefore the benefit to the investor from making the investment. Consider these examples. Sumit purchased equity shares of A Limited for Rs 25,000 and sold them at Rs 30,000. He also purchased equity shares of B Limited for Rs 2,500 and sold them at Rs 3,100. Rupee amount earned on investment in A Limited is equal to 30,000 less 25,000 is 5,000 rupees. Rupee amount earned on investment in B Limited is equal to 3,100 minus 2,500 is 600 rupees. In rupee terms, it appears that investment A Limited has generated a higher return than investment in B Limited. Returns can be positive or negative. Positive return means a profit, whereas negative return implies a loss. When investments with different outflows are compared, one has to compare the amount of return relative to the initial investment or the starting value. Therefore, absolute rate of return may be computed as end value less beginning value divided by beginning value. End value less beginning value is the return on investment. Hence, absolute return may be rewritten as return on investment divided by beginning value. Absolute rate of return is computed in percent terms. This means equalizing the amount invested of rupees 100, so it represents the return that would be earned on a common investment of rupees 100. The absolute return enables comparison of return across investments even if the amount invested is different. Thus, it is a better measure of return on investment. Using the formula, let us see how the two returns compare on a percent basis. Absolute return on investment in A Limited 30,000 less 25,000 divided by 25,000 equal to 0 0.2 Absolute return on investment in B Limited 3100 less 2500 divided by 2500 equals 0 0.24. Multiplying by 100 converts the rate of return into a percentage. Investment in A Limited has generated a higher amount of return in terms of rupees but earns a lower rate of return as compared to investment in B Limited. In order to earn higher return, investment A requires a higher end value or a lower beginning value. So the return is earned on a much lower base.